Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 22 in chapter 22. This is a Gaussian's law. We can see we have point charge Q located at the center of this uncharged keyword, uncharged spherical conducting shell. Right, so this is a two keyword. And then ask you to find the electric field dense as a function of R. And if the R, first one, R is less than radius of the shell. So we can look at this picture. This is a spherical shell. We can see this is a um, conducting shell, right? The inner radius is called R1, outer radius is R2. As the center located is a point charge Q, this is how it, uh, this system works. First one, the R is less than R1. Ask you to find the electric field at these locations. So we can draw a Gaussian surface. Look like this one. Now apply Gaussian's law. Tell us the electric field times the Gaussian surface, 4 pi r square, right? Equals the ele enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. Now, what charge is enclosed? Q, just the Q, right? So then we replace the enclosed Q as a Q, we get a function for it. Look like this one. Mm -hmm. The second one asks you to find the inside the shell. So inside the shell, what is the electric field dense? As we know in the, uh, this uh, chapter, tell us this is a conducting shell. For conducting shell, the electric field field is inside the conducting object is zero. And we can prove it. You can see this is a positive Q. And then this one is a conducting object. So the inner surface is inductive charge negative Q. Agree? The outer surface we can call is inductive charge positive Q. If we draw a Gaussian surface, inside this uh, conducting object see enclosed charge is zero the net enclosed charge is zero because this is positive q the surface is inner surface is negative q so the uh, enclosed charge is zero that makes the electric field field at this uh, uh, in surface is just uh, the zero, right? The third one ask you beyond the surface. So beyond the surface, we can still draw the Gaussian surface. Okay, sorry. Still draw the Gaussian surface, look like this one. We can see enclosed the charge is just a positive Q and this point charge. And this is uncharged conducting shell. So this two is the net charge is zero, uncharged. So enclosed charge is just a Q. Agree? Therefore, we can draw the we can use the Gaussian's law. So this one is four times the P, the, sorry, the electric field E times the Gaussian surface, four pi r square equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. And then replace the this enclosed charge with Q, we get a function for it. The next one asks you does the shell affect the field due to the Q unknown? So we can write down our previous answers for A is R. if the R is smaller than R1, we get the electric field and look like this one. If R is larger than R1, smaller than R2, E equal to zero. If R is larger than R2, so E equal to this function. You can compare. This function is exactly the same, right? So it looks like the this uh, conducting shell will not affect the electric field due to Q alone. But just inside this uh, conducting shell, the E becomes zero. Thank you.